Sacred Heart, Josh Friaria will kick it off and it's gonna come up short and it's fielded at the 20 yard line going uh, high to the upside and now on the reverse to the other way, long opportunity here for a touchdown to the far side of the kickoff return, kick short all the way to Jasir Jordan who gets out at the five yard line. The up back He's takes left. it on the... Play clock marching down. Now Parr's gonna have to scramble for it. Has a lane up the middle and he's in. Daniel Parr on the rushing touchdown to Duquesne. Takes a six nothing lead. Well, when you uh, talked to Coach Schmidt this week and you asked about the development of uh, Dan Parr, one of the things he Real talked about. The time playing lacrosse. Here's the punt and it rolls and it's picked up by O'Neill. He's got absolutely nothing but a blue wave in front of him and he's tackled at the 29. You know, we've heard about blue waves all week. This one actually materialized. <laughs> Into the chest of Hines, and he's bursting through. Nothing but space in front of him. A.J. Hines into the end zone now for the he stops in front of Daniel Parr. He blocks on the high side. Worley lowers his shoulder and gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Duquesne answers. How about that? Fine drive for Duquesne after Sacred Heart. To do. And uh, I think they'll look back at that as a real big missed opportunity and great opportunity taken by Duquesne. And Parr stays down on one knee just to make sure nothing else happens. Holds on to the ball, now stands up, and now the benches can come onto the field as Duquesne gets the win, 28-24, Central Connecticut State next week. And